I received my radio berry board from China today. Came by express post. That was pretty quick actually. I ordered it on the 1st of October. Today is the 13th of October. Came in a simple packaging, but I'm impressed by the, the speed. Of course, it is an expensive board and uh, I'm happy they delivered it in time. So here is the board. I haven't seen what version of the Cyclone IC is used in this. I need to open it and check. So this is the one. So it says CL016. So this is 16, not the 25, the older one. But anyway, it shouldn't matter, I believe. So they have provided a small heat sink on this one. I didn't expect that, but I believe this also heats up quite a bit. And uh, this is the mod version. Uh, I believe the short circuit or whatever that was there before has been corrected in this. Anyway, I'll plug it in and see uh, whether it works. I'll just install the software, the bare bones without any low pass filter or anything and I'll also transmit and see uh, into a dummy load to see if it works. I have now connected the radio berry card, the hat rather, on my Raspberry Pi 4. The receiver antenna is connected, a regular mouse, a keyboard and USB-C port has the power supply, this one and uh, I'm taking the HDMI out. So nothing else is connected. I'll test the transmitter later. But for now, just to make sure that the board is working. And on closer inspection, I realized that the quality of the board, the manufacturer, the build quality is bad. For the money they charged, this is half the price of a Hermes Light 2. And of course, it is half a radio of a Hermes Light 2. That means this should have been at least half the quality of a Hermes Light 2. But no, the build quality is terrible. I checked the under a microscope, I checked the solder, soldering quality. It is bad. But I'll be happy if the chip works because there are instances where this chip has been cannibalized from an older equipment and used. Uh, we have seen, uh, we have heard of stories, such stories. Uh, but on the other hand, I think because of COVID and uh, no stock of silicon and chips, chances are this is a new production. May not even be an old stock or a cannibalized chip. And it looks clean. The IC itself looks clean. But the board quality is not good. But let us see if it works. Now this is the USB power supply. And typically it draws about 1.1 ampere when it is on. With the radio berry hat mounted. And this does heat up especially during installation and all that it heats up and I don't have a heat sink for this although I do have heat sinks on the Raspberry Pi even that heats up and instead of shutting down every time after installation before reboot uh, since there is no heat sink and I was just trying to cool it with this handheld so that way I kept it cool throughout by, be, by giving a blast of cold air. So either that or mount a heat sink or a fan. Unfortunately at this time during the test I couldn't find a USB driven fan. So therefore I used this one. Now let us restart it. Click on this icon. Execute in terminal. I'll use this one. See, it was like twenty-seven seventy-five. Oh, that's not bad. Did you have to so we are on forty meters LSB. Tax duty tax on it? Not yet. I haven't gotten any email from you. Uh, uh, 
we have the AF gain here. It's right now playing, uh, the sound is coming from the HDMI speakers, the monitor speakers. I do have the small 7 inch touch screen, but I'll test it later. I have already tested independently. This is just to make sure that the Radio Berry card works. So to my good fortune, I think it is working well, but I need to check the transmitter still. Let us check some other band, 40, 20 meters. Not much activity on 20 meters. Florida. I think it is Jim from Florida. So anyway, I'm closing it now. So at least the receiver is working. Uh, I just need to test the transmitter. Probably I'll make another video on that. But this is just the preliminary test. Uh, eventually this will go into a box with lot many other things. Bandpass filter, low pass filter, transmit receive uh, relay switching and a console for a rotary optical encoder and other encoders for uh, various other controls. Thank you for watching.